On Saturday morning, Durki and Donovan quarrel in the salon and it is busy in the hairdressing salon at this time and Lean helps washing the client's hair. Durki and Donovan, they call each other names. So, you know, it's not much of a heavy fight. Um, it is like a bit silly in the movie. That's how they make it out to be. But uh, yeah, you'll see why. Donovan gives Lean more money and she can afford to buy more food as well as two chocolates. Shame. Two luxuries. Brahm spends the weekend with his friend Dion's family and Christine, Lin's mother, feels guilty about Lin having bought food because, well, Lin is 18 years old. She's not really working. She's just doing this part-time job and she's still having to provide for the family. Lin confronts her mom about why she does not play the piano anymore. And in a range, in a range, in a rage, Lin herself hammers out the blue Danube on the piano. Very hectic scene in the movie. After she does this, she consumes quite a bit of uh, wine and she drinks it all a bit too fast. And yeah, for those of you that know, if you do that, gulp it all down very quickly, your body reacts and it has to come out the same way it came in. So yeah, she uh, she chanders, she vomits into the toilet. Lynn spends the afternoon sleeping and eats supper alone and she feels lonely and contemplates contacting some friends from her previous life but eventually decides not to contact anyone and she rather listens to Nora Jones. And uh, yeah, we've got another whole movie here. Don't worry too much about it. Is It is quite repetitive. It's just Brom running the years back. Sometimes happy, sometimes sad, sometimes angry, which are not, not too important. They'll never examine or ask a question specifically about any of the home movies. 